Hi, Chris here with the Chewy HI8. It finally arrived. Now, I've been waiting a long time for this one. This, if you do recall, was actually delayed by Chewy because they had some problem with the display. I don't know what the problem was. But anyway, it's finally here. Now, it did take a little while because I actually got it sent from AliExpress via snail mail and it was on the slow boat, so it took a long time to arrive. But for those that are interested, it was sent with Singapore Post and they declared it as 60 US. Of course, it's actually around 100 US, so they've just declared it a little lower there and I didn't have to pay any taxes on this, which was good. So it's just like the Chewy VI8 Plus that I reviewed. Basically the exact same tablet, but it is in white. the high resolution screen so it's got a 1920 by 1200 resolution screen instead of that 1280 by 800 one that's in the VI8 plus that I reviewed so packaged up reasonably well in bubble wrap here and the typical brown chewy box so it should outline a few specs here on the side so it's got the all too familiar and common Z8300 which clocks up to 1.84 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gigabyte eMMC. Now you'll see here that it does actually say Android here. Now eventually, don't know when, but uh, they will release a dual boot model but we're just going to have to wait and see with that unfortunately when that comes. So the seller has actually taped the box all together here so I'm just going to cut that. and hopefully not cut myself in the process. Don't want to do that, do I? So they even decided to put some more bubble wrap around the actual tablet itself. Not a bad move because sometimes there's pressure on the actual packages and what you get is a screen that sticks to the IPS panel. So I'll get rid of that and just put the tablet there for a second while I have a look and see what the charger is rated to but it'll, it'll probably be the standard chewy affair which is so what do we got here the cable usb type c now of course now we'll be checking this one out to see if it's actually going to be running at usb 2 spec like the vi 10 or usb 3 spec hopefully they corrected that so an adapter there because i'm in the eu which is good if I can get the power adapter out, here we go. And have a quick look at the rating of this. So it's uh, 5 volts, 2 amps. So just like the other chargers for the VI-10, for example. So get all of this out of the way. And have a look at the tablet itself. And we'll get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. And just before I power it on, check out the weight. So 349 grams. 10, just about 10 millimeters there. I'm pushing down real hard. So to quickly walk you around the tablet, we have the USB Type-C there. Now I'm not too sure whether it's a USB 2 Type-C Hopefully not, hopefully it's USB 3 and they corrected the way the VI8 Plus was set up with only USB 2. Then we have our micro HDMI out, 3.5mm headphone jack and at the top here you can see top and bottom there are two Torx screws that actually hold the backing plate and the front together. Now there's this metal band that goes around the whole outside edges that's a nice touch and just makes the tablet look and feel a little bit better and overall the build quality is quite good we have a rear speaker there that um, isn't too bad but uh, it's not really the best speaker you'll hear but they definitely improved that from the original VI8 now it's a textured back and has a nice feel to it and overall there is no complaints with the build quality is quite good considering the under 100 US price tag that this has and we do have a 2 megapixel rear camera 
quite a useless camera to be honest. They aren't that good. It's just there. You can use it for video chat. And we do have a micro SD card slot for expanding your storage. Now these micro SD card slots now run at full speeds and do support full speed cards. We have the volume up and down button and power on of course on the bottom nothing there and there is a tiny little gap you'll see here that's not where someone put their screwdriver as one person mentioned to me I think on the forum that is actually where the microphone is so this tiny little hole there lets the sound in for the microphone which is just in there and the front facing camera is a, another 2 megapixel unit and this tiny little dot here is a status LED that will flash when charging and be continually on once fully charged. So I just powered on. I didn't actually have to go through any setup. It seems that the seller on AliExpress has already created a user, which is quite common. What they normally do is go and set it up and make sure it's in English. They don't actually need to do that anymore because the Windows 10 image supports English. Um, what used to happen was you'd find that it'd just be Chinese to start with and the sellers would go in there and download the English language pack or German or whatever you wanted, stall it for you and then put it back in the box. But why they've done that I don't really know but at least I know it's working and often that's what they do too. They will actually power them up and check to see if they're working without any faults so they're not shipping you a faulty unit. So have a look and see what free space we have. 19.2. Uh, this is only, of course, a 32 gigabyte eMMC. Now, a quick look at the device manager and see what wireless cards we have on board here under network adapters. So it's actually a Broadcom, which um, is quite rare to see. Normally, it's Realtek wireless. And the disk drive is a generic N card, which is exactly what I expected because this is what the VI8 Plus has. It's a B1 drive that normally offers quite poor performance, but I will be benchmarking that soon in some up and coming videos, as well as some other videos on just how well it performs. So I'll go through my usual benchmarks. I'll run Geekbench, 3D Mark, and test out some games on it as well. Now to compare the screens between the VI8 Plus and the HI8 Pro here, I've got them both set to 100% brightness. See 100% and 100%. And face on, they both look almost the same really, but it seems when it comes to viewing angles, the HI8 Pro is slightly better. Now if I turn off the lights, we'll have a, another closer look. Here I can see that the VI8 doesn't look as good as the HI8 Pro screen there. Again with the viewing angles. But the brightness of both the panels seems to be identical, really. I can't distinguish a difference between them. And finally, a very close look at the screen using a macro shot here. So this is the HI8 Pro. Now the VI8 Plus. You can see that definitely the HI8 Pro screen is sharper. Alright, so that's the unboxing and first impressions are, well, no surprises. I knew it's going to be pretty much just like the HI8, but it has the new Cherry Trail on it. And of course, it's got the better screen in it. Performance-wise, I think it's going to perform just like the VI8 Plus, so there's going to be no surprises there. But I will be back with benchmarks and gaming. If you are interested in this tablet, keep an eye out on the channel. Hopefully see you soon.
Bye for now.